Hey there everybody, this is Roar, and I'm back to you with another audio commentary. It's going to be my last one for the day, so I hope you all enjoy. Here we're going to have Marf. He is going to be the Pink Zerg on Quantum Gaming versed Atero, the blue or teal, uh, yeah, teal Zerg. And this is going to be a clan war between uh, Quantum Gaming and VT Gaming that took place before the... Um, phase one of the beta went down. I hope you guys enjoy. We're going to go ahead and get started. As you can see here, Otero actually went random. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Um, so, Marth has no idea right now what race his opponent is. And as you can see, both of them are um, sending Overlord Scouts. And uh, surprisingly enough, Otero is sending his um, horizontal rather than um, vertical. So he's sending it to the long scout position rather than the short and he is going to end up finding his um, opponent, so uh, good job by him. Uh, looks like Marth is going to opt for the 9 Overlord, and um, so is Otero. Otero is a bit faster on his Overlord. We'll see if that has plays any difference in this game. Um, both of them have their 10th drone coming out on Q. As you can see here, um, Marth did not find his opponent. I'm assuming that Otero sent his Overlord over here just simply because he's random, and sending it here uh, will let the Zerg know that he went Zerg and um, might alter the strategy of his Zerg opponent. As you can see here, that tenth drone is coming out to his scout. So um, uh, one difference we can see already is Otero decided not to send out his tenth drone simply because um, he's going to scout with both of his overlords because he knows his opponent is Zerg. And as you can see, that drone does cross under the overlord's path, so he does know that's coming in. Both of them are going a 14 pool, exactly. So um, see how that comes into play and Otero gets the first extractor up so he's we're probably gonna see a speed link and uh, maybe roach build coming in from Otero with that extractor and once again we have an extractor coming over here so we might actually see speed link bailing battles which would be a uh, pretty intensive and considering the replay length I'm guessing that's what might happen um, I was not here for this clan war I actually had to work so all these replays are completely new to me um, and both players are almost mirroring each other. As you can see, we have Overlord, Spawning Pool, Drone, and I'm expecting to see another drone up here in the production list from Mars. Um, if we go to the unit count, we have 15 15 with 3, and just about to be a 3 once his Overlord finishes up. And uh, back to production, we do have the Queen coming out for uh, Atero. And now we have a Bailing Zest coming down from Atero, uh, opposed to a, a Spawning Pool from Mars. Um, essentially, what this means for uh, Ateros, he's going to have to get into this ramp with his lings and bailings and be able to put enough pressure down on this middle of the line before these roaches are able to block it off, which will uh, like really hinder his attempts to do anything. And if Marth can do that, he probably will win this game just because roaches are a um, pretty hard counter to bailings. Um, they aren't light. Roaches obviously aren't light units. They are armored, so they are able to take a beating from bailings and able to fight back properly. And unless you have enough zerglings with uh, speed upgrade, which is not coming, it's going to be pretty hard to put any significant pressure on the roaches. As you can see, our first three roaches are coming up with a queen out. They're going to be able to block off that ramp as we have four bailings morphing in. Um, the roaches will be out before the bailings are up, so they're going to be able to block off that ramp just fine without any trouble and basically just be able to hold off uh, Otero. So I'm wondering if Otero is like, deciding to go to a um, quick or a quick uh, muta build since these bailings essentially failed him. As you can see he's going to go ahead and back up that bailing as these roaches are about at half health and they are perfectly fine. They just took down about five bailings and three zerglings. And as you can see we do have a spine crawler coming from Otero. He's expecting a backlash to come as he did not know his opponent was going roaches but he's now fully aware of this. So a bit unlucky here. Uh, ZVZ in my opinion is pretty much a guessing game. I mean you can go bailings and zerglings and unless you time it perfectly and your opponent has roaches you will fail. As you can see here we do have this hatchery coming up along with two spine crawlers and Otero is just now going to try to go defensive and probably go Amuta build while Marth is um, going and getting up more roaches. Why not? Mm. 
Uh, roaches are always pretty powerful. We can go ahead and push, even though they are more food now, too. Instead of one, they're still able to put on significant pressure. You can see Artero does know that these roaches are slowly crawling their way across the map and uh, availing and circling are right here. They're probably going to try to sneak around and maybe do some damage on the mineral line, as they do um, exactly that. Uh, but uh, Mars is going to go ahead and send his roaches back over here to go and block up the ramp while sending these in. So he's going to be able to put on a, 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 a significant amount of pressure as there's only two spine crawlers here. And I'm really curious to see what these roaches can do. Uh, really ugly guys, really disgusting type uh, damage. No one really likes them, but they are able to do just put on some massive pressure. As you can see, this bailing uh, just blows up on these three uh, front roaches right here, not really doing that much damage at all. They regen so quickly. Um, and I really feel that uh, Otero is going to be in a lot of pressure here. As you can see, Marth is sending out this one roach to go and do some scouting. Oh, excuse me. And we do have a third spine crawler coming up for Otero with um, some additional bailings morphing. We have six more bailings, but I mean, just with the massive amount of uh, roaches. And you can see Marth is um, splitting up his roaches, although it's not significantly much. He is doing it just enough to make a difference. As you can see, this roach does go down after getting some scouting information off. He does pull the queen off a of creep and uh, doesn't really slow down any injects. Actually, Otero is not injecting, so I guess he did slow down and inject significantly. As you can see, the energy is slowly building up on the queen here, and we are having more and more bailings. Um, kind of surprised we still don't have an eject larva here this is um a lot of lot of energy there we go um he ticked over about 15 energy before actually uh spewing more larva and as you see we have some overlords coming in probably just bad rally points from marth as you can see yes he does have his rally points all keyed over here so all his overlords are going to come in just a massive amount of roaches he probably just push now and end this game as you can see we have 37 to a 66 population these roaches are just basically going to steamroll anything over here and there we go, look at this. Look at this focus fire of the roaches. Already half health with just two attacks and all the bailings explode, uh, taking down probably the front six uh, line of the roaches and that's it for Otero. He's not going to be able to do much more. Uh, with the spawning pool going down, no more Zergans are going to be able to produce, which means no more bailings and all the drones are pulled off the line. As you can see, um, Marth is just going to do a little attack, dance, attack, dance, attack, dance and these overlords just kind of waltz in just for the hell of it at the end. Um, now all these spine crawlers are attempting to root, but as you can see, so slow. I mean, those legs just aren't strong enough. Blizzard needs to give these more beefy legs so they're able just to kind of slam themselves into the ground and they would be faster. But you know, Blizzard doesn't really like spine crawlers. They did too much damage. Did people did spine crawler pushes? Uh, sorry, I went off on a tangent there. But as you can see, Mars did easily have the game wrapped up. This is a best of three, so I will bring you the next two games shortly. Thanks for watching.